do you want to see your results? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> They're like, are you sure? I'm like, just fucking end me, man. Howdy hackers, I'm Black Chief Spicy, and as of Thursday of last week, I am Security Plus Certified. So basically in this video, what we're going to be talking about is uh, how I studied for the test and what the test was actually like and things that I would probably do differently in the next exam that I take. So let's get to it. So how did I study? That was... Where's that book actually? Ugh. This book, Security Plus, Get Certified, uh, Get Ahead by Daryl Gibson. This shit was my Bible for like a month. Basically what I did was I did a chapter a day. There's 11 uh, ch uh, chapters in the book. And at the end of each chapter, there's a, there's like a, a little assessment, like a, ch uh, ch a chapter assessment. It's like 15 questions. If I scored 85% or higher, I would move on to the next chapter. If I didn't, of course, I would go back and do it. And I did that. A lot. A lot. <laughs> literally. Literally every single day was like, wow, I'm a failure. It was, it was brutal, man. I'm not going to lie to you. But I think that really paid off in the end. And of course, uh... Once I finish all the chapters and shit, hold on, let me clean up these fucking papers, Jesus. Uh, after uh, I completed the book, I did all 11 chapters and that kind of shit. Of course, there's a post-assessment exam, uh, or a post-book, whatever, exam. It's like 75 questions. And uh, I went through and I did that, and I got an 82 on it, I think. And I was just like good enough that's good enough so um I, I i went out and a lot of people use exam compass at this point for those of you who don't know exam compass is a, a website where they have a bunch of like practice questions for the security plus exam i don't know if they're like in the question pool themselves but i use that a little bit um I didn't really use it that much though. I'm not sure why if I'm being honest. Instead, I used these really random bunk ass questions I found on the internet that claim to be from the test, though I did not see literally any of them on the exam. We'll get to that a, a little bit later. Uh, there's like 500 of them though, and they are relevant questions. So they were all right. Like a, a lot of the answers they had were a little bit questionable, but it worked. So, uh, I booked the test for January 9th, uh, last Thursday. Uh, not because I wanted to, but because when I actually wanted to take the exam sometime before the new year, all of the testing facilities were closed because they're schools and schools have winter break. <laughs> I was so pissed, man. So the day of the test, uh, I got there and literally, okay, so you cannot have like any notes at all even in the lobby of the place it was really fucking weird so like when you go you have to be absolutely prepared there's no reviewing anywhere on campus but they make uh they make you fill out a couple forms just make you sign some shit it's not a big deal uh they take your picture and then <laughs> they make you put all your shit in the locker and <laughs> This was, I could tell this was going to be a great exam because I couldn't figure out how the lock on the fucking locker worked. Like, it was like, it was like, you had to put in a token and then you had to like turn the key or whatever. It was, it's like a four step process. I was like, holy shit, dude. And like, I just felt great about it. Cause like, of course I'm trying to be a security professional but I don't know how a fucking lock works. That was fun. But so finally I get in, had to sign another form. I'm not sure what this one was for. I think it was like a sign in sheet or whatever, some sort of, I don't know. And so the dude locks me into the computer. I sit down and I await my doom. I had answered hundreds of questions until my eyes bled, a whole month of studying. And finally I get into the exam and they're like, are you ready? I'm like, yeah. They're like, are you sure? I'm like, yeah. I, I had to do one more thing be before the exam actually began. And then they said, are you sure you want to begin? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> so. So, get to the test, and the first thing I think of is, this is nothing like the simulations. Daryl, what the fuck, man? Like, none of the practice questions 
were anything like the actual exam. It was actually, it was weird because, like, it was a lot of log reading for some reason. Like, uh, there was one that I can think of off the top of my head where, like, you had to find the first sign that a breach had occurred or something, and it was, like, a giant log file. Or not giant, it was only, like, five entries. Where, uh, it had, like, timestamps and, like, you know, a hash value for whatever it was. You had to figure out when, like, the first breach happened or whatever. There was this other one. It was one of the uh, performance-based questions. Where, if you guys don't know, a performance-based qu question is more, like, open-ended. It's, it's, like, scenario-based, I guess, would be the best way to put it. And there was this one. There were, like, place the best physical security controls next to whatever. And I think I put cable locks, like, six times on one of them i was like this is going great this is a great start and so finally you got to the multiple choice those were a bit more similar to what you would be used to if you took all the practice exams and all that shit like just like the free shit that i used um and so finally 80 questions later i went back i reviewed all this shit and i was just looking back at my answers and i'm like yeah uh this is about the best answer i could give so fuck it <laughs> and so uh I hit the uh, thing. They're like, are you sure you, you uh, want to submit your exam? I'm like, yeah. They're like, are you really sure? I'm like, yeah. I was there like this in the freaking testing area. I can see the, I can see the, uh, the, uh, monitor dude. Like just looking at me a little funny. I was just like, oh God. So finally I click it and the screen goes white. There was nothing. And then all of a sudden, a survey. I was like, damn it. <laughs> it, was, it, it was the weirdest freaking survey ever, man. They're like, hi, are you a professional? I'm like, no. They're like, hi, are you 22 years old? I'm like, yeah. They're like, hi, are you white? I'm like, yeah. So <laughs> so finally, I, I answered all those questions. There were like 12 survey questions. That shit was pretty stupid. Comp to you. If you're watching this, what the fuck, man? And so finally, they're like, do you want to see your results? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> They're like, are you sure? I'm like, just fucking end me, man! And so finally, it goes white again. And then I wait. And then all of a sudden, in these big, bold fucking letters, CONGRATULATIONS! 826 out of 750 or whatever the fuck, YOU PASSED! I'm like, FUCK YES! Ah! That's a rush. That's a rush. I would take that exam again just for the adrenaline rush. And that's also how pathetic my life is. But that's not the point. I fucking passed with an 826 out of 900. So I was pretty stoked about that. So what I would do differently. Um, I think the biggest thing is to schedule your exam before you start studying. Mainly because like, you know, you put down the 300 bucks and you haven't even studied yet. So you better fucking get on that shit. Like... That, that little bit of terror, I think, would be enough to really get you going and, like, expedite the process a little bit. Uh, besides that, not a whole lot else. I mean, what I did worked. Granted, I'm not coming from zero on this, so I guess that probably helped a little more. If you are coming from zero, your results may vary. But that'll do it for me today. Uh, if you enjoyed this content, enjoyed this video, leave a like, pop a subscribe, whatever the fuck else that YouTube makes you do to make, to make you uh, look relevant. Uh, available on all five food groups, link to the description down below. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Have a good one, y'all, alright?